Good morning everyone. Today we are going to deal with the example question 3.5. It's coming under a topic free fall. An object falls freely under gravity. So how to represent graphically the acceleration, velocity and position with respect to time. That's what we are going to discuss here. So what are the equations of motion for vertical motion under gravity? We have already discussed that one. That is V is equal to U minus GT. The first equation. Next one. V square is equal to U square minus 2G into Y minus Y0. That is also we have discussed. And the third equation y minus y0 is equal to what is the equation become ut minus half g t square equations of motion for vertical motion under gravity now in this case we are dealing with the free fall what is in the free fall it's an example an object is now at a rest okay if i release this one if i release this one what will happen to the object? The object falls freely. What is the reason it is, why it is coming freely? Because of the earth gravity. Earth gravity always pulled towards the center of the earth, right? So it is coming downward. So while I am doing like this, what is the initial velocity in the free fall here? Zero. So the equation become, what is equations become now here? The equation number one, equation number two and equation number three become V is equal to minus gt right now second equation become what v square is equal to minus 2g into y minus y0 right because the initial velocity is equal to what zero and the last equation y minus y0 is equal to half minus half gt square so this is the equations we are using when an object is falling freely i hope it is clear right now we have to represent the graph which graph we are going to represent here one is acceleration time graph other one is velocity time graph and the third one is position time graph so first one will be dealing with the acceleration time graph so we have already discussed about the acceleration time graph right now this is the graphical representation how to represent the acceleration time graph so first of all <coughs> time <clears throat> time along x-axis and acceleration along y-axis so here it become what minus a correct here what is the acceleration what is acceleration when an object is falling freely the acceleration is equal to what minus g or simply we can say that what g value but we have taken always the g value is what negative why the negative value why we have chosen because the earth gravity or the g value always acting vertically downward and at the same time when an object is falling freely its gravity or g value is this constant value what is the g value 9.8 meter per second square so in order to represent minus g we are drawing the acceleration time graph is a straight line parallel to x-axis and that we are drawing in the fourth quadrant so so time is going but the g value is what the acceleration is what constant so here we can write the value as what 9.8 meter per second square 9.8 meter per second square so we can put here word minus 9 point so the graph what is the graph become what is the graph shape become it is a straight line parallel to x-axis parallel to x-axis now how to draw the next graph called word velocity time graph so how to draw the velocity time graph in this case so once again i am drawing here x-axis y-axis right here it is time and here it is velocity and here it is a minus velocity correct here once again if you see the equation what is equation become v is equal to minus gt right v is equal to can write here v is equal to minus gt right so that means y is equal to 
m x that is the uh, general equation y is equal to m x so definitely we know that y is equal to m x is a straight line right it is a straight line passing through origin passing through origin now you see this one here what is m stand for that is a slope here slope is given the word minus g what is that minus g and we are drawing here velocity time graph what is the slope of the velocity time graph? It is the acceleration. Here the acceleration is lowered minus g. So the graph where you will be drawing the graph here in the fourth quadrant, we will be drawing the graph in a straight line graph. You see this one? This is a straight line graph. So why it is a straight line graph? Because the gravity or the acceleration is constant. And here what is the acceleration? Minus g value. So we are drawing in the fourth quadrant. So that is the velocity time graph representation now let's draw the third graph that is the position time graph so in the position time graph you see the last equation here y minus y0 is equal to minus half gt square so while we are dropping an object from the top what is the initial vertical displacement y0 y0 is equal to 0 so what we can write here the general equation here y is equal to minus half gt square so by seeing this equation we can say that the graph will be a parabolic shape right we have already discussed about the parabolic formula right that is x square is equal to ky x square is equal to ky but here this minus sign is coming there so we can write here x square is equal to minus ky for instead of x square here it is t square y here along the y axis is a vertical displacement so you can rearrange this one so what is the shape of the graph become the shape of the graph become we can draw the graph here like this we are once again we are drawing along the fourth quadrant so x axis it is a time and the y axis it is the vertical displacement y and what is the graph become this is a parabolic graph so the graph become like this you see this one this is the graph shape so this graph actually represents for a uniformly accelerated motion uniformly accelerated motion and this is the position time graph we have already discussed here the g value is negative and it is acting vertically downward so we are taking it as acceleration is equal to what minus g so we are drawing in the fourth quadrant so this is the representation of acceleration time graph velocity time graph and this is the position time graph all the three graphs we are drawing in the fourth quadrant the main reason is that acceleration due to gravity is acting vertically downward and we have always taken it as what minus g i hope it is clear thank you